occasions to inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man, if his chief good and market of his time but be to sleep and to feed? A beast, no more. Oh, sure. He that made us with such large discourse and reason looking before and after gave us not that capability and godlike reason to fusk in us unused. Whether it be bestial, oblivion, or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event, the thought which quartered hath but one part of wisdom and ever three parts coward. I know not why yet I live to say this thing's to do. Sit. I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples gross as earth exhort me. Witness this army of such mass and charge that they are delicate and tender prince, whose spirit with divine ambition puffed makes mouths of the invisible event, exposing what is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death and danger dare. He good for an eggshell. Rightly to be great is not to stir without great argument, but greatly to find quarrel in a straw when honours at the stake. How stand I then that I have a father killed, a mother stained, excitements of my reason and my blood, and let all sleep? More to my shame, I see the imminent death of twenty thousand men, that for a fantasy of trick and fame go to their graves like beds. Fight for a plot, or on the number cannot try the cause which is not tomb enough or continent to hide the slain. From this time forth, my thoughts be bloody, or be nothing worth. <laughs>